Welcome back, it's Turner Creek Spar Chaser and I got a great video for you today. One of the biggest problems that comes up when building a fence like this is the ground clearance between the bottom of the fence and the surface of the ground. Now, if you're gonna have a pet or a dog in the backyard, this is a major concern because you don't wanna have your dog go underneath the fence and escape your property. Now, most of my fence is built on a level surface and there's no issue of having a gap at the bottom of my fence panel. Now, with slight slopes, like as you can see right here, this also doesn't become an issue. This is a five inch step down right here and a lot of times people will have it tiered to follow the contour of your slope if it's very minimal. So if there's a gap at the bottom here, this is easy to fix. You can throw some rock and some dirt down there, bring the surface of the ground up to the bottom of your fence. Now in extreme slope conditions, which I'm about to show you, this could be a big problem. You could either have to add a whole bunch of soil to it, a whole bunch of rock, cinder block. It might not look good and it might become a lot of work. Well, I want to keep my design looking the same, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this problem with using hog wire. Let me show you. So as you can see, I have a very large gap that I'm going to have at the bottom of this extreme slope on my fence. Now, this is just a mock-up two by four. That's level to show where the bottom of my fence panel is going to go. And I actually have a 20 inch gap right here and my dog Yeti can easily fit through that gap and escape the property. Now, if I was gonna put a bunch of rock and soil in here, it would take a very large amount and it would look kind of out of place because the ground will be level and then all of a sudden it rise up. So I'm gonna use the same design that I've been using on the rest of my fence panels with the hog wire up here, but I'm gonna put the hog wire down here as well to fill in the gap. Let me show you how I'm gonna do this. Let me first show you real quick my design of my fence because this will come into play filling that gap. So I made mine out of all 3 8 thick hog wire and two by fours. Now you can take one two by four, take the hog wire and then put another piece of two by four on top of that and sandwich it in between. That's very standard. Um, but with the way lumber prices are right now and how much wood that would be, that would cost me a lot of money, like probably $2,000 for my fence. So I cut that cost in half by using a dado blade on my table saw to cut a one inch high by seven sixteenths inch gap all down the middle of all my two by fours. And that's where the hog wire will set into place. So once that's all done, I get panels that look like this. There's 45 degree cuts on each corner with two screws, keeping it in the place. Easy, it looks great. Now, with filling the gap on the bottom, I'm gonna have to change it a bit differently just so it looks the same as the rest of my fence panels. But all I'm gonna do is just take one more slot and add it up here. So on my, on my bottom fence panel boards only, I'm gonna run a one inch by seven sixteenths inch thick dado blade down the center of each of my boards and that's where my hog wire on the bottom is going to slide into. So I just made two measurements between each post. I have to cut two pieces of wood at 87 inches with 45s on each side and then two pieces at 45 inches with 45s on each side. Once you're done cutting the two sides and the top and bottom boards, bring one of your top or bottom boards over to where your hog wire is laid out. Lay it on the top edge like I have right here. On your one corner, you wanna make sure you have a quarter inch gap between the end of your hog wire to where it fits at the edge of this gap right here. That's for some slop. And then come the other side and this whole side, we're gonna have to make a cut all the way down our hog wire. But again, leave yourself at least a quarter inch gap between this far edge right here and then where the end of your hog wire is going to be where you cut it. Once that cut's made, take one of your side boards lay it on the side that you just cut 
And again, do the same thing. You want to have a quarter inch between the end of your hog wire to the end of your slot right there. On this side, the same exact thing, quarter inch. So I made a mark all the way down. So I have to cut this the whole way lengthwise. Now we're going to take our bottom board and we're going to cut a slot the exact same as here, just on the other side of this board. So this is bottom right here. Just take your hog wire stick it inside of the slot that was already there. Like that, make sure you have that quarter inch gap on the side. And then do the same thing for the top. Now put one of your corners in place. Take your corner, line it up pre-drill a hole. Now this is the side I'm gonna have facing the yard. So I'm gonna flip it over. Now the way I mount mine to the post is I use a Craig and I make pocket hole jigs here, here, and here. And I'll pre-position screws so when I go to put this up, they're already there, ready to go. So these are really cool to use. They work great and you can hide all your screws. I'm on one and a half inch thick wood. So I go ahead and do that. I clamp it down into place. It comes with its own drill bit with an inch and a half mark. And just do that. Very simple to use, very strong. So I'll finish these other four holes and we're getting closer. Now that our fence panel is done, now we can work on filling in this gap. So I have some spare wood right here from a bunch of these other panels. I'm gonna slap that right on the edge, right here like this. And since I know the bottom of my fence panel is gonna be where the bottom of this two by four is, I'll just take a pencil and I'll mark like that. Now I know that I need to cut right here and that will be where the bottom of the fence panel will go. I just cut my board. Now I'm gonna make sure I have a one inch gap between the edge of my board here and the outside surface of the post. Once that's good, I already put some screws in here Lock it down. Verify again, I have one inch. One inch, good. All right, now we can figure out what to cut for the rest of that hog wire that we cut off before, because we can use that to fill in this gap right here. This is very easy. We know that we have uh, our hog wire is gonna go one inch up in here because of that slot. And then I want my hog wire to go at least four inches into the ground. So pretty much an entire square of that hog wire. So if I go down here on the edge, right here, I have 18 inches from the bottom of this board to the level of the ground. So I'm gonna add five inches. So 19 and then four more inches is going to be 23. So I need to have this hog wire cut at 23 inches on the one side down to zero on the next side. And I'll use a level to get a nice even cut. I'll show you. This is that leftover piece from earlier. This will fit perfect to fill that gap. 
So I'm not exactly at 23 inches. It's more like 21 inches from here to here, but that's all right. I'm not gonna get my full two inches into the ground, but I could always throw some dirt at the very bottom here and make it so it's four inches. But I laid the level out like it is 23 inches to the very far corner over here. And I took a Sharpie and I marked every one of those pieces of metal where I have to cut. So now I'm gonna take my grinder, I'm gonna cut all those to get my angle. Okay, now we can take our panel that we just cut into an angle, slide it into our piece of wood right here and take a hammer. And we wanna hammer it down until we have one inch showing between the top of this to the top of our hog wire. This level will fit nice and snug on top of the rest of the fence showing me that I have to go down more on this side. So I'll keep working this until this is nice and level and I have one inch showing right above here. All right, she's all tamped down into place. Now I can go ahead and take my fence panel and put it on top. Now, since this is already level at one inch, it should be very easy to put the fence panel on top, screw it into place, and then we're done. There you go, folks, what do you think? We got it done. We got the top panel installed. We got the bottom panel installed at a angled look that's into the ground. So my dog will not be able to push this out. It looks good, it looks clean. I don't have to do any real dirt work to make the grade come up closer to the bottom of the fence panel. All in all, I'm satisfied and I got the job done. Leave me a comment down below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions about this build. I'll be more than happy to answer those. Like the video if it did help you, and please subscribe. It goes a long way. It's free, and it helps me out a whole bunch. Until next time, thanks a lot, and take it easy.